Hello, this is Salvatore over at Rock Out Loud, and I'm here with a longtime student of mine, Valentina. So Valentina, we're going to try and cover pretty much everything today, um, from where you started music and, and what made you get into playing the guitar. Um, you've done a lot of things at the school. You've played shows, you have uh, done band camp in the summer. You've done it all, as far as a Rock Out Loud student goes. Um, so let's, let's start from the very beginning, uh, and let's talk about um, why you wanted to pick up the guitar. What, what made you want to start playing? Um, what made me stop playing the guitar is because my family and I love um, hearing Kenny Rogers songs and I wanted to be just like him when I grow up. That's amazing. Kenny Rogers, what's your favorite Kenny Rogers song? Um, it's okay, you don't have to pick one. I don't know, I like all of them. <laughs> so so would that be would that be the reason why you say you got into music was because of Kenny Rogers and and, and his music? Yes. Cool. And then, and then, how long have you been playing? What is what is your uh, what was your start date? Um, I don't really know. Maybe like by November. November of twenty twenty or twenty twenty one. Um, two thousand twenty, I think. Two thousand twenty, and so you've been playing with me for about a year, um, and you know we've been doing it all from from single notes all the way up to you know your full open chords now that you're playing, and we've played. I mean, we've played everything. We played Taylor Swift. Who else have we played? Um, Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. We do a lot of Ed Sheeran. Um, so, so would you say um, that if you had to pick one, and I know it might be hard because there's probably a, a ton of inspirations for music for you, right? Because we've done so much. What would you say is your biggest musical inspiration? It could be even be a life inspiration. It doesn't even have to be a, a musical inspiration. Maybe like my parents are always pushing me to go okay. and do different stuff. That's amazing. Uh, t tell us more. Tell us more um, about it. Because like I always wanted to play the violin, so my mom said I had to do the guitar first. Mm -hmm. And now I play violin, so I think I really progressed a lot. Wow. I didn't know you played the violin. You never told me. We, we were with each other all the time, and you never told me you played the violin. That's that's amazing. So your parents are your life are your are your life inspirations. That's that's fam that's amazing. And then when we talk about musical inspirations, who is your musical inspiration? Would it be Kenny Rogers? Um, probably Kenny Rogers, and sometimes Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, name your favorite Taylor Swift song. Um, I knew you were trouble. That's a good one. Have we done that one together? I don't think so, right? I think we kind oh. of did. Oh, we did. Okay, that's amazing. Okay, so so let's talk about. Um, so we talked about how long you were playing. Um, the the most curious. I think everybody here is probably the most curious about um, what it's like being in a band, right? Because you performed on stage. You did band camp. You were a part of a band. What's it like being a part of a band? Well, being a part of the band, like you have to like agree on like what kind of notes and everything that you want to play. Mm -hmm. Sometimes like you may fight about like what you want to do totally. or not, but like at the end, like you know what you're going to do, you're still all friends. Absolutely. And, and like everything's going to be fine. Absolutely. You're 100% right. What do you think is the most important uh, thing to bring to the table as a bandmate? Um, probably like being kind to everybody and mm -hmm. also like, don't doubt yourself when totally. you're doing it. Totally. Um, and, and playing on stage, that must have been pretty crazy. Because that was, was that your first time on stage? Yeah. Yeah, you, you looked great on stage. You looked like you were very comfortable. Um, and you were standing up while you were playing, which we've never done before together. So that was really your first time being on stage, playing, playing standing up, which is pretty, pretty amazing. Um, tell us everything about it. How was it? Were you scared? Um, I wasn't really scared, but because like I knew I was gonna be fine because I used to do dance, mm -hmm. so I'd been on stage before, and like when I got up there, like I never felt that I was gonna be nervous, so I just started to be nervous, and I thought I was gonna get like everything wrong. Yeah. <laughs> but and then I saw my friend Izzy up there, and. So I knew, like, I had a friend right there with me. Mm -hmm. So, like, I knew she would, like, be there for me, like, whenever I, ha like, whenever I felt down. Yeah. Because, he, like, all my friends and everybody 
always puts me back up in a good mood. Good. That's amazing. That's amazing. Um, would you give, if you had to give one piece of advice to somebody who was about to perform for their first time ever, what would you tell them? Um, I would probably tell them, like, don't doubt yourself, mm -hmm. because if you say that you can't do it, then that's probably going to, like, force yourself not to do it. Yeah. Because I, I felt that the same way, mm -hmm. and then I just did, did like, it, and... Yeah. I just felt good with it. Yeah, and you played great. You didn't you didn't miss mess up at all. You did fantastic. Um, okay, so one thing I also want to talk about, um, which you did during the summer, um, you were with three other people or two other people, and you guys did band camp. Um, tell us about the experience. You guys came in, you guys wrote a song for the first mm -hmm. week, and then you recorded the song. Tell us everything about it. Well, like with the recording, we had to go like like separate, and then. But besides, like, all of the learning... Oh, Jesus, look who wants to be in the podcast. <laughs> Is that a bee? I don't know, I didn't see any. Where'd he go? Yeah, I saw it's, like, in the wall. It's in the wall. It's Is it, oh, you just ran into the wall? <laughs> yeah. Well, he, he got jealous, and he wanted to be in the podcast with you, Valentine. <laughs> okay, so, so, sorry. So you tell us about the beginning. So let's start all the way at the beginning of the, of the um, band camp. So you guys came in. What, was, what did you guys do for the first week? For like the first week, we figured <coughs> out like what lyrics were gonna sing, um, what notes for the guitar, for the drum, mm -hmm. and like we all like got to know each other a lot, which was really good. And then the second week. Before you say that, do you think okay. do you think chemistry is important for a band? Mm, yeah, because like you can have like friends there, and like you know you can count on them. Totally. Okay, cool. So your first week, you guys came in, recorded your songs, came up with the guitar parts, the vocals, the drums. What was the second week? The second week, like, you came in, you helped us record everything, yep. which I thought was really fun because we got to play with these different voices. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> we got to play in front of our parents, which was, like, really fun. Mm -hmm. And also, like, I got to know them even more than the first week because... Me and my friend Izzy became like, started kind of bonding and like really getting to know each other than the first week. Yeah, you guys so were like best friends. that's how the second one, second week was. Mm -hmm. Good. And then what else did you guys do? You came up with the song, recorded the song. What else did you guys do? Um, we showed it to the parents. Showed it to the and, parents? And then I forgot what else we did, but that's what I could remember right now. I believe, I think, if I remember correctly, you guys got... You guys made t-shirts, right? Did you guys come up with a band logo? Um, yeah. What was the name of your band? Kids Rock. Kids Rock. Do you remember how the song goes? Yeah. You don't have to sing it. It's okay. <laughs> um, awesome. So yeah, uh, that was that was a great time. I was actually with Valentina during that entire, or through the second week of the experience. Um, but they sounded great. Uh, the song came out fantastic. Um, so, so that was awesome. And, and so if you had to pick one part of the, the band camp experience that was the most memorable, that you'll remember forever, what is that, what is that one moment? It doesn't even have to be music related. It could be a, a bonding experience with one of your friends. It could be, it could be um, anything. Probably the first day I was over there mm -hmm. because I got to see new faces and I was nervous, but I made new friends too. Good. That, that's awesome. And then musically, what was, what was your favorite part? Was it recording? Was it writing? Was it practicing? Oh, you guys also did a video. Sorry. <laughs> they also did a video. So it could, it could be any of those. It could be making a video. It could be writing, recording, practicing. It was probably recording because my friends helped me out like with me, like the volume and everything. Yep. And helped me get like everything that I needed and from the studio like they listened to how I was because yep. we'll probably, we'll, we were recording in there yeah so and then what about filming the video filming the video was really fun like when it was like my turn to sing I was actually singing because I didn't know we had the recording on <laughs> yeah. of it <laughs> yes yeah um, that was great um, and, and the song, like I said, came out great. The video was pretty cool. Um, and then you guys performed for the parents, which was cool. 
Um, so, so I guess we'll we'll one, one last question about music, and then I want to talk about you um, and what you do outside of Rock Out Loud. I know you got a whole bunch of hobbies, um, and you know sometimes you're rushing in here, right? Because you're you're doing a whole bunch of things, and then you come in for your guitar lesson. So, I want to talk about you because you have a very interesting life. So, but but so last question: uh, If you had one piece of advice to give to somebody who was first picking up an instrument, just walking through the doors of Rock Out Loud. And they don't know. They haven't played anything yet. They have no experience, but they're gonna learn. What would you tell them? I would probably tell them, like, it's okay to be nervous because you know you like gonna like see a teacher. You're gonna learn what you like, really have in your instincts and everything, and yeah. what you like to play. Totally. And and would you say that being nervous uh, was that something that you felt when you first came in for your first lesson? Did you feel nervous at all? I kind of felt nervous because I was new to the place. Yeah. So I didn't know anybody here. And you, did you have any experience with the guitar or no? Um, I did. I used to play the acoustic guitar. Okay, cool. But that didn't work out, so I thought to go to the electric guitar. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Cool. Okay, uh, enough about music. Um, tell us about your hobbies. I know you love um, Harry Potter World. Um, you are a huge Disney fan. I know you're a huge Harry Potter fan. I already know that. Um, I, I, so, so, and I know you do. You play some sports. So, so let's start from wherever you want. Tell us about Harry Potter World sports. Any of your side, your hobbies that you like to do outside of music. Well, outside of music, <clears throat> I go like right next door to martial arts. Oh, cool! Like every Wednesday, which is really cool. I also play basketball and travel soccer. And in class every Monday, um, I do my violin, which is like really cool, kind of the same as guitar, but just with four strings. Yes, and much smaller. Yeah. <laughs> yes, cool. So, so you, you're all about sports. You play a bunch of sports. You you play music, um, and it seems like you're you're always filling your life with some type of hobby, something you love to do, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, so, so. Now that you've told us about some of the side hobbies, tell us about Harry Potter World. we got to hear about it. Um, so Harry Potter World, there's Diagon Alley, which you like, you get everything that you need, like your robes for school, your wands, your pets. Mm -hmm. Also, you can get candy and this like big ride, which I haven't went on yet, but it's like in Green Got Spink, so like you can walk in. And like you can see, like the the goblins, mm -hmm. and like if you ever watched the movie, the first one, it's like really cool because like you know what watch they're in. Yeah. And then you can go on a train. Okay. Like which is probably gonna take you a while to get on because people like go back and forth. Yeah. And like you can also go to Nocturne Alley. Cool. So, which is like, it's very dark in there. So, like, if you need to, like, get any of the Deaf Eaters, like Lucius Malfoy, Baltimore's Bellic Tricks, who I love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I know you were, you were, what's what's the, the third one? You were somebody for Halloween. And you just um, said her name, but I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't want to sound stupid. Bellic Tricks, that's strange. What is it? Bellic Tricks. Bellic Tricks? Is that how you say it? Mm hmm. Cool. Yeah, I remember you were that for Halloween. But I actually changed it. You changed it? What'd you change it to? Hermione Granger. Oh, Hermione Granger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you you look more like Hermione Granger. I know, doesn't Bellatrix, doesn't she look crazy? She's got the orange hair, right? Yeah. Is that her? Yeah. No, like cool. the orange hair was Hermione and she has like black hair. Got it, I got it. So movies. so how often do you do you go to Harry Potter World? Um, probably like any time I go to Disney, I'll go to Universal, mm -hmm. and I'll just go straight to Harry Potter World. Nice. Which is like really cool, and I get to do a lot of shops, shopping there. Yeah. So when I go back to the hotel, I have like at least four bags of stuff. Oh my God. <laughs> of wands. Of wands. Oh my God. And, and whose like, wands do you have? I know you, you told me the whole list. You have like 20 something wands, right? Yeah. Give me your, give me your top five. You don't even have to give me all 20. One of my, my first one is Ginny Weasley. Cool. That's um, Ron Weasley's little sister, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, Luna Lovegood. 
Cool. It's first one. Probably Albus Dumbledore's wand, like which people think it's Grindelwald's wand okay. from Fantastic Beasts, but it's really not. Oh, okay. It's a whole lot. That, um, so, and then my fourth one has to be Bella Trucks Less Strange. Cool. And then my Hermione wands. Hermione wands. Nice. Awesome. That's awesome. Uh, and then you said you go to Disney a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, so m- me and my family are very Disney people. We go, we go once a year. Um, and I know it's a tradition for you as well. Um, what I want to know is your favorite park and what is your favorite ride to go on? My favorite park is Epcot. Okay. And my Mine as well. Mine too, by the way. Is the art of animation. Like the art of... I forgot the name, but it's, it's like... It's the art a, of animation. I think that's yeah. what it's called. I think that's what it is. That's your favorite thing to do? Yeah, like that's go amazing. on the Figment ride. Figment's cool. Because I've been looking for a stuffed animal for like two years yep. already. But it's really <laughs> cool. Be- the ride's really cool because like you get different smells there. Like you get skunk. skunk oh, yeah. Clothes and mint. But <laughs> my whole life I got skunk. Oh, man, because of course. Because it like, depends on the day. Mm. So like say you start on the Monday and it starts on skunk, then that would be Oh, it. man. And then it just switches. That stinks. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that was such a bad joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, cool, 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 cool. Um, well, I'm I've been honored to be your teacher, and it's been fun. Uh, and I look forward to to seeing how much more you progress. Now that you, I didn't know you did the, the violin. You know, you're playing the violin. You're playing all these sports. You're playing the guitar. Um, and I'm sure it's not only helping you. Uh, you know, you have look like you have a lot of fun with it, but I think it's also teaching you. Uh, a lot of life lessons, right? Um, yeah. You know, all these hobbies that you have probably leave you with some sort of lesson at the end of the day. Um, what would what would that lesson be? Um, for like my sports, my lesson would be like that one's kind of hard because I play a lot of sports and like everything goes differently because of basketball you have to score for one shot, you right. get two points, so it doesn't like. In basketball, it doesn't matter like which way it goes because you're gonna get two points anyway. In soccer, it only equals one. Right. So in soccer, I think it's okay. Just make sure like you like progress yourself and make sure you believe in yourself and don't doubt yourself. Like I said, like yeah. a lot of times, basketball kind of the same. Never hold like the ball for too long. Never hit anybody. You should be now. a basketball co- coach, right? <laughs> What are you doing playing the violin? You could be a basketball coach. You look like you, you sound like you know what you're talking about, so don't hold the ball for too long. I'm not familiar with this. I'm not really a sports guy. but So you don't hold and the ball for too long. The one thing is, like, kind of make sure you know what you're doing because you have to pass a lot in it and you have to dribble a lot. Yeah. So, like, if you can take, like, a shot from away, like, just do it because... Like, you can do it. And then you can also do a fake and take, which is, like, oh you God. have the ball. And then, like, say, like, you're, tra- you're pretending you're passing to another person. So you pass it You pretend, like, you're going like oh, that. Oh, so that person passing. thinks they're going to get it past yeah. you, but then the other person gets the ball? And never do, like, an overhead throw because... What's somebody, an overhead throw? Can you like, demonstrate you, like, it? Like, go like that. Throw it over and that. then, like, somebody can jump in the middle of you and just take it. Oh, my. Has that ever happened to you before? Um, like, once or twice. Once or twice, you got the ball <laughs> swatted. Somebody. So, like, you want to do, like a ball, like, pass on the ground uh-huh. because, like, it would be easier and it you can, like, go back and forth with each other. Yeah. Which is really good. And you can do, like, a chest pass. So if, like, you don't want somebody, like, to swoop in and just get it. Yeah. Just chest pass them and then you just get the ball. Cool. That's a, that's awesome. I'm not very familiar. I'm not very. I'm not really a sports guy, but um, I think we'll wrap it up with a final question. Um, and I and I usually ask this to a lot of my students, uh, and it's okay if you don't have the answer to it. Totally cool. And and I'm not going to expect you to have the answer. But um, where do you see yourself in ten years time? What do you What do you want to do? Um, probably I'm going to be like in college or high school by then. I hope so. So. <laughs> So I'm going to like not go to regular college okay. or high school. I'm going to be a dentist when I grow up. Wow. So I'm going like 
like almost like 12 years of training. Oh my God. That's amazing. That's amazing. Well, this has been a lot of fun. Um, and like I said, I'm honored to be your teacher. It's been, it's been a blast and we have learned hundreds of songs and done hundreds of lessons and you've only gotten better. Um, everybody, Valentina, she's amazing.